Personal branding is good for our career and business. At least that's what people keep telling you. But growing your personal brand is not as easy as we mostly thought. Hi, I'm Suzanne and in this episode, I'm going to share with you 5 tips on how to grow your personal brand. We all wish that building a personal brand is as easy as just grabbing your phone and take some selfies and videos, right? But that's not as easy as it is. There are a few things that we need to look into and this video, we are going to cover them all. Number one, figure out who you are. Before you put yourself out there, you have to be clear of your personal and professional identity and what makes you, you. What motivates you? What are your expertise? What do people usually say about you and how you want to present yourself to others? All those things can contribute to building a better personal branding for yourself. Number two, determine what you want to be known for. Personal branding is more than just a reflection of who you are today. It's also a reflection of the roadmap of where you want to head to. So think about what you want to be known of in terms of your brand. Do you want to be a subject matter expert in terms of marketing, social media, engineering, or even entrepreneurship? Know where you want to get to and share your journey with the audience that you have on your social media to be part of this journey together with you. Number three, define your audience. Say you have number one and two all checked off and sorted out, right now we have to decide who are we actually speaking to. Are you speaking to industry experts, market leaders, students, potential hire, and so on? Because once you have identified who are you actually speaking to, you are able to develop a strategy that can speak better to them and to touch their heart even more in your journey of personal branding. Number four will be networking. It's a good practice to network regularly and to expand your social circle and to speak to as many people as possible including peers, uh, other leaders, entrepreneurs and so on. Because the more you network, the more knowledge and insights you get from all these different people, the more you build your connection and eventually it will help you to add more value to other people in your content and in your conversation. So networking might seem like there's a lot of work to do but that is really what's going to help you a lot in your personal branding as well. Number five is to grow your online presence. This is one of the most important aspects of personal branding because if they can't see you, how are they going to know about you, right? So right now on social media, there are so many platforms available for free like LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. So go out there, share your thoughts, share about what are you thinking about, what are you currently working on and that itself can actually create a lot of engagements between you and other people and actively comment on their posts, actively speak to them, drop them a message and all these contributes to building your personal branding through all the engagement and ultimately with all the five points taken care of, I can ensure that you are on the right track to building your own personal branding. Thank you for watching and if you like our content and would like to learn more about personal branding and even social media management, subscribe to our channel, give us a like and stay tuned for more. See you!